Probably seen them, the Nokia Sugar Bowl $1 million toss, the World Wrestling Federation's $1 million Summer Slam, GTE's $1 million putt. They're all big money contest spectacles during halftime shows mostly, and they're happening all over the country. But do you ever wonder who writes out the check to the lucky winner? Well, here's a hint. It's not the corporate sponsor. When a promotion features a big cash prize and the sponsor doesn't want to risk a big budget-busting payout, those companies turn to SCA Promotions. And over the past decade, SCA has paid out more than $50 million to contest winners. How do they do it and still make a hefty profit? Well, they play the odds. You'll have 24 seconds to complete a shot from the free throw line, top of the key, and a mid-court shot to win the new 1992 Jeep Wrangler. You've seen it during halftime shows, from high school games to the pros. Eye-catching promotions that pay out up to a million dollars in prize money. And stop. The sponsor randomly picks contestants from the audience, giving them a specific task. If they make it, against the odds, they earn significant cash awards. Yet the sponsor does not cough up the big bucks. We are seldom totally visible to the consumers, but it's really immaterial to the contestant because, as a matter of fact, if the winner wins and gets paid, that's all they're concerned about. They don't really care who writes the check. Many times the check comes from SCA Promotions, America's leading prize fulfillment company. SCA enables sponsors to increase the value of their promotions at a fraction of the cost of the grand prize, sometimes as little as 2%. They can offer a big prize, and whether it's won or lost, is completely inconsequential to them from a an economics point of view. They can get out there and root for somebody to win the prize, put up a million dollar prize, and suddenly, instead of worrying about whether the million dollars is won, they can root madly for the contestant to win the prize, take Bob's money, and force me to start checking the prices on the wine list. Good morning, SCA. Since its inception in 1986, privately held SCA has covered prizes totaling more than $10 billion. No, but don't worry about Bob's wine selection yet. According to Hammond, only about 5 to 8% out of his total promotions produced winners. Nevertheless, the job requires a heart strong enough to withstand risk-related stress. We were involved with uh, the Home Run Derby this year at the All-Star Game. Mark McGuire hit a drive to deep left field. We had a sign that was about 10 by 15 feet square. And if he'd hit the sign, it would have been a million bucks. It cleared the sign by about a foot. There's really high drama, and those are the things that people in the audience remember. Man, a million bucks for someone. We've seen two million dollars missed by three inches. <laughs> Is that close enough for you? <laughs> This time, SCA got away with it. But with about 3,500 promotions each year, the company is responsible for millions of dollars in prize money at any given time. So, how does Hammond sleep at night? We find a number of uh, insurance companies or other risk takers who for a fee will take a percentage of the risk. We collect from the sponsor and turn around and pay the insurance company we're doing business with and we participate in the risk as a risk taker. Although the insurance companies take the main burden of the risk, SCA always participates. For a million dollar grand prize, for example, SCA's risk would be about 50,000. Win or lose, the sponsor always pays SCA a prearranged fee. Hopefully we're right more often than we're wrong. If we're wrong, of course, we hear from our risk takers who become decidedly unhappy with my analytical prowess. It's amazing how one day I can be a genius and the next day an idiot. <laughs> Hammond's wit, his mild manner, and self-depreciating humor has made him a popular leader among SCA's employees. His uh, outlook is very optimistic and upbeat, and I think that keeps the rest of the office upbeat because it can be pretty hairy 
place to work. A brilliant mind for mathematics, Hammond is the odds maker at SCA. Here, he ponders the prize of a soccer target for an upcoming halftime promotion. That is a horrendous target. Did I approve that? I think we should just send the check out with the target. Over the years, SCA's client list included everyone from Fortune 500 companies to small non-profit organizations, promoting everything from Elvis Alive contests to the Olive in One. By successfully playing the odds, Hammond has parlayed his abilities into a profitable enterprise. SCA has grown from $100,000 in sales in 1986 to a $20 million company today. Yet Bob has reason to be well-versed in the laws of risk and probability. A nine-time world champion bridge player, and currently the number one ranked player in the world, Hammond's skills rely heavily on strategy, odds-making, and intuition. Bridge is a highly competitive game where you are constantly called to assess the situation and solve the problem. You have to do it in real time, and it's not very forgiving if you make mistakes. You get punished and you get a bad result. This business has that characteristic in that you make decisions and you don't have a lot of time to think them over carefully before putting it into action. And the punishment is that you get beat. But so far, Hammond has not been beaten in bridge, nor his niche business. I'm Stuart Barney for Business Unusual.